<laughs> so there's I don't to answer your question I don't think there is a greatest ever because there's different weight classes. You're right. Habib definitely is in the conversation. He's the only like a really elite guy to retire undefeated. That's a nasty motherfucker. Oh, he dude. was so good, dude. Dude, yeah. there's something about looking at that motherfucker like I love these guys who you can look in their eyes. You can tell something ain't right. Hard as nails. You can tell something's fucking right. Hard something ain't nails. right. And that's in a good way. Something yeah. ain't right. The way when he fought Conor McGregor and they were booing him at the weigh-ins, oh. and he goes, "I'm gonna smash your boy." You should play that interview. Put play that interview because when I'm talking to him, and he they're, they're all booing and she's like, oh, they're all Conor McGregor fans. They flew in from Ireland. I mean, this is a big Jesus. fight. And he's like, "I'm gonna smash your boy." Alhamdulillah, I'm gonna smash your boy. Play this. <laughs> Look at them booing him. Khabib, what does this fight mean to you to defend your title tomorrow? It's so loud Conor there. That's why I'm screaming. It's hey. so loud. First of all, I want to say Alhamdulillah. God gave me everything. Alhamdulillah. I know you got this. You don't like this. Alhamdulillah. Tomorrow night, I'm going to smash your boy, guys. I'm going to smash your boy. And I want to say thank you. All Irish fans, you know, all fans around the world, because of you guys, this fight is happened. Thank you guys, and tomorrow night, inshallah, and still. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you. The champion, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all. I'm going to smash your boy. Jesus. And that's what he did. He was on top of him, pounding him, going, let's talk now. Because Connor talked. He was saying it while, oh, during yeah. the fight. Play that, play that. He's on top of Shut him, the punching him in the face, going, let's talk, let's talk now. Beating the fuck out of him. That's the next level let's fucking talk shit, now. man. Let's talk now. And Connor was like, we talk. Let's talk now. Let's talk now. Let's talk. Let's talk now. Oh, my God. Hey, stop. Stop. Connor's saying it's only business, and Khabib says, "You tired? Let's talk." Jesus, dude, <laughs> he brought that shit to another level, man. Yeah, well, he used that as fuel. He took no fucking mental aid stations in no, that training camp. No, 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 he was a bad motherfucker. And then when his father died, he told his mother he was gonna fight one more time, and that's it. So he's in his prime still, right now. He's in his physical prime. He's like, so he told his think, mom, he's, gonna, he's done. He's not coming back, you don't think? Well, his protege is Islam Makachev, who's yeah. now the new UFC lightweight champion. And Islam is as good as him in that same realm. Wow. I mean, it remains to be seen whether or not Islam can have a reign the way he did. But he just beat Charles Oliveira as one of the best ever. And he just ran through him to win the title.